Hey what's going on folks, my name's Grey, welcome to Video Holocaust, the best channel on YouTube for Asian action and martial arts movies, where today I present a quick biography of a personal favourite star of many a chop socky flick, the cute as a button kung fu kitten Moon Lee. When many people think of Hong Kong or Asian action movies in general, they think, first of all, understandably so, of the big stars like Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Donnie Yen, among others. But thanks largely to triad-backed producers looking at the money generated by foreign markets, there were many trashy B-grade sub-genres in Hong Kong cinema. One that sprung up in the late 1980s, largely due to the success of the Sammo Hung-produced girl cop flick Police Assassins, starring then unknowns Cynthia Rothrock and Michelle Yeoh was the girls with guns genre that would come to be spearheaded by the adorable girl next door looking Moon Lee who had been playing bit parts in many Golden Harvest productions like Mr Vampire, Zoo Warriors and the Jackie Chan Viracle and precursor to police story The Protector. But it was the 1987 release of Angels which would propel Miss Lee into the limelight, a brutal no holes barred action film featuring some outstanding martial arts choreography and perhaps the best girl on girl fight scene ever shot, where Moon would be pitted against Japanese ball breaker Yukari Oshima, someone who would work with Moon on numerous films throughout the late 1980s and early 90s, until like all fads in the fickle world of Hong Kong movies, it ended almost as quickly as it started. With decent roles drying up, Moon went into semi-retirement and eventually relocated to Canada. But who was Moon Lee? Born in 1965, she entered the entertainment business as a teenager, and much like her contemporaries such as Michelle Yeoh, she started out as a dancer, but quickly learnt the skills required to become a proficient action actress, going on to perform her own stunts and even suffering serious injuries in the process, like when she was caught in an explosion that burnt her quite badly on the set of Devil Hunters. These days she's reverted to her first love dance, in particular classical Chinese dancing, for which her students have toured the world promoting the art and winning numerous awards in the process. But my own first exposure to the cinematic offerings of Miss Lee would be movies like Kickbox's Tears, where she would square up to not only Yukari Oshima again, but also former world kickboxing champion and villain to the stars Billy Chow, and the all-female ass-kicking collab Avenging Quartet, which brought together Moon Lee, Cynthia Khan, Yukari Oshima and Michigo Mishwaki in a low-budget Taiwanese adventure that I hope to review soon. It's just a shame that, what with the Hong Kong film industry collapsing from a combination of oversaturation, piracy and the fear and uncertainty over the 97 handover to China, that we never got to see Moon mature into a more dramatic actress such as contemporaries like Sandra Ng. As I always felt, the frenetic pace of making movies in Hong Kong in the 80s and 90s meant that acting talent that Moon possessed was always overshadowed by the casting of the counterpop idols who could be guaranteed to put bums on seats, no matter how bad the movie. But for the legions of Moon Lee fans around the world, of which I include myself, her brief stint as an action heroine, like a shooting star kicking ass across the night sky, was over all too quickly. But on behalf of everyone who followed her career, I think I speak for all of us when I say, thank you for the memories Moon Lee, we love you.